Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm back here at the Red Brick House, at least, if only for one night. Yeah, uh, going to a graduation party tomorrow. And uh, I got to go back and do some more stuff on that kitchen and things. But I'll be back here soon. I'm just happy to be here with my wife. But we have some good news. Shout out to James Nooks. James, I appreciate you keeping me up to speed. I have been so busy running around like a chicken with my head cut off that I haven't been able to actually talk about practice. Um, I've been actually talking about all of the stuff that we've been getting from Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones and, you know, Tua getting paid and so on. And of course the Cowboys seemingly stuck in reverse and not doing anything. But the funny thing is, is this is not new. This is the same stuff the Cowboys always do, which is absolutely nothing. And they believe that we're doing the right thing. We're going to win the way we want to win. We're not going to spend money. We're going to do it on the cheap. Um, yeah. That's just the way they do. And in some regards, you know, you're still talking about a team that's won 12 games every year. And I'm not trying to defend what the Joneses do. The thing that's maddening is, is you've built the great base. You just need to finish it. You know, you got a cake. You need to put the icing on it. That's the problem with them. Um, but if the Cowboys are going to do well, they need last year's disappointing rookies to step up. Schoonmaker, who stayed injured Two days right now, no injury for Schoonmaker. That's good for him. That that's oh. Dustin Bosley is a shout out to Justin Bosley. He's a new member. You just saw that happen up here live. It scared the piss out of me. Okay, so shout out to our new channel members. We'll be doing some more giveaways and things. Anyway, maybe we'll do one tonight. <clears throat> we need Schoonmaker to be able to step up and be, you know, number two or number three tight end. We need, of course, Overshown. Uh, to really step up and to really take our linebacking core to another level. If he can just get to the season, okay, if he and Kendricks can just play the season, we've already improved the linebacking room. And one that I've been worried about, now again, we're still early in practice and knock on wood, we haven't had any injuries and let's hope that we can stay healthy, is Mozzie Smith. Mozzie has been an enigma and a mystery. It's a mystery. But still they try to see. And I know I can't sing, but you know what? It's YouTube. It's YouTube. Maybe it'll go viral. It's a mystery what happened with his weight because he was over 330 coming out of college and somehow got down to 293, which was originally reported by Brian Brodus. Um, looking at him now, there's some pictures. Shout out to the Laundry Hat Report that's got an article on here that was shared by James Nooks. Uh, trying to make sure I give everybody credit. Trying to make sure I give everybody credit. It looks like he's up to about 310 pounds. And he has been basically made from a one technique. And if you don't know what a one technique is, I was a one technique guy. Dan Quinn was a one technique guy. That is uh, John Ridgway is a one technique guy. That is a guy who pretty much lines up over the center, shade a little to the left, or shade it a little bit to the right, which means you, you, your nose is the center. You shaded, you're kind of over one eye, shaded over here, or you're in the gap, okay? That's where you live. You live between the guards. It's hell. There is no worse place to be on the defense. Your head is literally a foot away from the other guy's head. You get hit in the head every time, every freaking play. You get double teamed and all that. So they took him from being a one technique, which typically is a guy that has more weight. And they're trying to make him into a three technique, which is different. Because now your tackles are about a yard off the ball. Whereas you're used to working in hand-to-hand -hand combat right here in the middle. You need to be a little bit quicker as a three technique than you do as a guy that your job is to be like a big turd in the toilet where you're clogging up the pipes. You're not letting anything through tackles. You've got to be able to move. You got to be a little more agile. You've got to be able to step and everything comes pretty much at you from 
the inside. So your your whole mindset of going as one technique from what's going on, who's coming at me, to more of everything's coming from this direction. It's a totally different position, and you got a lot to learn. So at least so far, it doesn't look like he's put sloppy weight back on, but if we're talking about him being about 310, that's 17 pounds. I know 17 pounds on me feels like a lot of weight. I wish I could lose me about 17 pounds right now, but I'm eating too much shit, okay? Especially when I'm away from my wife and working all these crazy jobs and hours. <laughs> I just need to throw some food down, and I'm eating some shit. So that's not good weight. The question, of course, is um, because he had shoulder surgery, he's not able to lift, and you don't know how much strength that he has. But this is definitely a good starting point for uh, Mozzie, and if he can end up being better than Hankins was last year, then that's a major improvement for us and gives us something as far as hope goes. And as much as we have been killing the Cowboys about not doing more, it's not that they have an awful team. Let, let's let's be clear here. They have some great pieces, and when you have a Micah Parsons, if you can get C.D. Lamb signed and in there and not waste three weeks or more, you keep Dak Prescott upright. You get your young guys in there playing. You got a team that will be challenging for the division title and will be a team that should make the playoffs. And if the Cowboys can do that four years in a row, make the playoffs, I don't care if they're not having as much success as you would like in the playoffs. Making the playoffs four years in a row ain't easy, brother. And that's where you have to continue to look back at the Joneses and say, bro, can we get a little extra couple of troops in here to help us kind of get over the hump, to help us in playoff times, some guys that have some more experience, some uh, other guys to shoulder some of the hits so that way we don't run out of steam when we get to the playoffs? How about that one? And that's where I would love to see us. So we'll be – in about 30 minutes, live streaming here. I hope you guys join us. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait because a week from the day after tomorrow, I'll be going back to Cali, to Cali, to Cali. We're going back to Cali to cover the boys. Um, shout out to Law Nation who's already out there. He's going to be there for like two weeks. I don't know how... <laughs> My brother got some, he got some, got some serious dineros. It ain't cheap being out in Cali at training camp for two weeks. I, I'm going to tell you that one. All right, good people. See you in a few. Peace.